What's up YouTube? This is Tixatsi and today we're going to show you where to find all the materials you need for endless Elixir of Death Evasion potions. So stick with me, we're going to show you exactly where to find all the elites and all the materials that you need to cheat death and beat the game on hardcore. Oh, oh I fully died. I fully died. When did I actually lose to death? For anyone unaware, the Elixir of Death Evasion is actually a potion that you can drink in-game that will, for the next 30 minutes, prevent death from happening and become immune for two seconds. Now, this can be easily crafted at any alchemist at the major towns. You come over to them, and you go over to Elixir, and you scroll down to the bottom here, we have Elixir of Death Evasion. Now, what this requires is one Angel Breath, four Demon's Hearts, four Crushed Beast Bones, four Pale Tongues, and four Grave Dust. Now, even though Angel Breath says it's a rare crafting material, this is a herb that can actually be found anywhere in the game, and you'll notice that it becomes very easily accessible. However, the Demon's Hearts, Crushed Beast Bones, Pale Tongue, and Grave Dust can sometimes be a little bit more difficult to come by, and today we're going to show you a very quick and easy farming method that'll give you countless and endless of those materials. So today we're down on the bottom right of the map in Hawazar, and we're going to show you the quick locations where to find Pale Tongue in this area. Now there's four elites that spawn in each area, and each one of these elites drop five of their respectable crafting materials. So you have Hail Tongue in the bottom right at Hawazar. We'll have Grave Dust at Fractured Peaks, which is the actually Act 1, the area that you start in. Uh, in the top right in Kejistan, sorry, uh, Sklodstan, we actually have the Crushed Beast Bones. And down on the bottom left at Kejistan is where we have all of our Demon's Hearts. Now we'll show you the map that has the Elite area on them and a quick little farming path just to kind of collect those materials. Now in this short clip, what we're going to do is collect Pale Tongues from the bottom right of the map and show you how quick and easy it is to get all the materials that you need to craft those deathless potions so you see on the map we have a star that's actually the elite that spawns and you just come up here very quickly and easily kill them and we get five pale tongue so you just do these rotations it only takes three to five minutes depending on the area that you're farming and that's five potions so we're gonna head towards our second elite down here in the bottom this guy's kind of interesting he likes to uh, respawn on you uh, so does the uh, endless eggs from the monster we just killed. This guy, you have to kill him a few times. He likes to be a little stubborn. He doesn't want to give you the pale tongues that he's collected over the years. So we got Captain Willock here. He's going to die in one shot. But guess what? Oh, he's back again. And we're going to kill him again in one shot. Let's get these other pesky spiders and snakes out of the way. Captain Willock. We need your pale tongue, sir. We're trying to make deathless potions. All right, now that we've collected those, we're gonna head to our third elite, which is actually at the top left side of this map. It's another important reason why you should go around the map and collect all your waypoints, because you can do these little waypoint hops and get all the things that you need much quicker. Now onwards to our third elite in this area. We'll just hop on our horse and head on up. We need our pale tongues. Rip them from the mouths of these demons. Up here we got rain. Dane. Rindane? Rindane? And there we go. More Pale Tongues. Now, the last elite in this area is a little bit of a trick, but, you know, 30 seconds out of your day to save 3 hours or upwards of 100 hours if you're pushing the end game seems like it's quite worth it to me. So we're going to teleport to the Tree of Whispers area, and we're going to just run straight across to where the tree is here. and straight down. Now, if you're trying to do an auto path here uh, because you're in the Tree of Whispers area, it doesn't really give you a great path, but it's quite simple. You're just going to hop across and run straight down. And once we get through this little tree area, we're going to cross a bridge and be at our last and final fourth elite in this area. Right. We see some guys worshiping of a snake. They're going to offer themselves up. We'll hit our... Grasping veins just cause, but Enki, again, will just die in one hit, and that's our last set of Pale Tongue. Now we are in Fractured Peaks, and we're going to show really quickly where to get all your Grave Dust from Elites. We're going to hop over to Ministad and run up to the tree, the first Elite that will give us the five Grave Dusts. We're going to hop out of town as fast as possible, hop on our horse, and head on over to the tree. Now, this guy can be somewhat dangerous for melee characters. Drops a lot of poison explosions as well as spiders. But if you're ranged, again, just one shot. You might want to wait for his death to pop. 
But again, now we have five grave dust. We'll hop on down to Nostrava, where we're going to head south to our second elite. Uh, this guy, again, has a death explosion. He is a fire enchanted, so he will explode after he dies. So again, you might want to be a little bit cautious, you know, save a little bit of time. Don't be dangerous. But he's fairly easy to kill for all classes. It's just, you know, avoid his death explosion, obviously. We're just going to run on down, run past everything and kill our second elite in the Fractured Peaks. Again, there's a star on the map. Hop off our horse, kill him instantly. We'll grab our Grave Dust. Again, there's the explosion that you want to avoid. Those can hurt extremely badly. And then we'll head back to town. Once we're in town, we'll head up to our third elite. Also, these guys do drop very nice rares. Depending on your class, some of these rare items are actually pretty decent. Once you've farmed your absolute best in slot items, you might not need them anymore, but you could always check them out. They don't sell for anything, but you can use them and enchant them the way that you want them to be. We head on up, we have this third elite here. He's sitting down, you know, praying, doing what he's doing. We're just gonna kill him real quick and get that graves dust. We're gonna head on over to Bear Tribe Refuge. Once we're in Bear Tribe Refuge, we're gonna head north up here by this dungeon and kill one more elite. Once we get here, we'll see the stars spawn. This guy's here. Once he dies, he splits actually into three. Now these three all have their own different death mechanics. One of them does have a fiery explosion, as you can see. That pops. We're going to grab our grave dust. Now we're going to head up to the top right of the map. We're going to show you where to farm. Crush beast bones. These guys are going to cancel my... Yeah, they're going to cancel my teleport. That's okay, guys. That's okay. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. There we go, we got out of there. All right, we're gonna hop on up to the top right of the map. This is where we get our crushed beast bones. Uh, I like to come here and start at Tirmar. Not sure if we're gonna say that correctly. We might be butchering the name, but that's okay. And we're gonna run out of town here and head on over to this area. It's a little red on the map. And get our first elite up here. You can see the star's already on the map, shows us exactly where we need to be. We head on over, and this guy's gonna fall out of the sky from somewhere. He's been hiding up in the trees or something. Kill him real quick, get our five beast bones. Now, instead of teleporting here, makes it real easy just to kind of run down. We're gonna hop back on our horse and head over to the second elite. And once we get here, we're gonna see this young man sitting in the corner. He's got five more crushed beast bones for us. And now we're going to teleport to the main town and head right out over here to get our third elite for five more crushed beast bones. Another one of those interesting elite guys. This is actually a lichen. Oh, we got a goblin over there. That's okay. We don't need him. Skip past all this. Head right over here. This guy is actually not spawning. Okay, so someone must have just killed this guy recently. Actually, I think the player's still yeah, the player's right over here. And that's okay. You know, we missed one elite, but guess what? We have three others in the area. And we'll just hop on over to the last and fourth elite. Oh, look, look at that. He spawned while we were here. Perfect timing. We'll kill him real quick. He spawns into a werewolf, but we kill him again, and he drops the more crushed beast bones. Now we'll head on over to the fourth elite now. That's actually in the bottom left of this map. And if we have the far brewer waypoint. We'll be pretty much spawning right next to him. We'll hop on in, dash straight across, and uh, look, we got a star on the map. That's where he is. Hop off our horse, kill him again, and five more crushed beast bones. I'm gonna collect these, and now we'll head to the south part of the map. Now, if you've finished this stronghold here, Alter Ruin, we have the waypoint, and we'll teleport there and make it nice and quick and easy to get this first elite down in the bottom left for our demon's hearts. This guy likes to spawn in a statue. He's a ghost for whatever reason. Uh, maybe he is the spirit of whatever the statue is. Star comes up on the map. We hop off our horse. Takes a little second to spawn. We're going to open the chest to see what's in there. And again, just pop him real quick and easy. Five more demon hearts. Now, our next elite is right over here in the middle of nowhere. So we'll head over to Tarsarak and just run west from there. Again, you'll see the little star pop on your map and it lets you know exactly where you need to be. And after you've done this run a few times, you'll just kind of know by muscle memory where they are. Once we get here, we got a big old fat boy. Once he uh, dies, he's gonna explode with a bunch of snakes. 
Not much of an issue though. Once he dies, you can just kill all the snakes, grab the demon's hearts, and we'll teleport down to Iron Wolves Encampment. This is where we'll head to our third elite of this area. It's a giant scorpion. Again, another one of those really thing easy things to kill. Gets you easy materials and makes it really quick to make these deathless evasion potions. Run past all these little guys that don't matter. Again, there's a cellar here. If you're going along the path, you can hop into things like that. Now, cellars do give you crafting materials. They do give you the pale tongues or crushed beast bones. However, they're random, so you can't specifically farm them like this. Again, we just come up, kill the uh, giant scorpion, get more materials, and now we're gonna head back to Gay Cool, the town, main town, to head to our final elite. This is probably the longest part of this act. This uh, takes a long time to get out of this town. But again, you know, doing these rotations, 10, 15 minutes to get all the materials to make five potions. Make five potions last you two and a half hours, 15 minutes out of your day. Pretty nice for saving a lot of quality of lifetime later on down the line. And once you start running dungeons and a number of other you know, events type things, you'll see that most of the time you only need one or two of these different types of materials, so you can specifically farm whichever material you need rather than doing the whole rotation. But we're just showing the whole rotation just for quality content sake here. We gotta come over here and talk to this lady. She's gonna spawn into the little sucky by and get our last set of demon hearts. So this is the full rotation to get every single crafting material that you need. Short little, you know, 10 minutes if you do it effectively, efficiently, quickly. And you get all 20 for each one. Demon's Hearts, Pale Tongue, Grave Dust, Crushed Beast Bones. That's 15 minutes tops if you go really slow to get 20 of each. And 20 of each will be five potions. That's two and a half hours of death evasion potions. So we're gonna craft that death elixir, come over to your consumables, and there you'll have your new elixir of death evasion. And once you use that, you'll see you get this buff that escaped death by becoming vulnerable, but only once. Now, if you do take critical damage, it does make you immune. It'll pop like a little red bubble around you. And you can't use another one again for five minutes, but if you have these scrolls of escape, of course, once you pop your elixir of death evasion, you can easily use your scroll of escape to get out of action pretty quick. Now, again, if anyone doesn't know, you can actually bind your scroll of escape to your emote wheel. And what's even better is you can actually come into the options here, into controls, scroll on down, and you can see that we can bind our emote wheel to a button of your choosing. Now, I like to use Tilde. I've been a Path of Exile player for quite a while and I use Tilde to do a quick log out. So as you can see, we don't even have to open up our emote wheel and push anything. All we have to do is hit Tilde. Tilde and we're out of there. Guys, I hope this helps you and I hope that it helps you get to 100 on Hardcore. Uh, please like and subscribe on this video if you'd like to see more content or come visit me at twitch.tv slash Thank you.